Welcome, Rambling United Wrestling fans. This is a special announcement, an update, if you will, into the progress of Bo Dallas seeking the Intercontinental Championship in space, currently held by Jon Snow. And right now what you're seeing is actually what happened to Daniel Bryan in the prequel series that was planned to go up on my channel. Unfortunately, it was taken down by YouTube. So I'm showing you a little bit here. This is how Daniel Bryan originally lost his arm. That's right, he lost his arm. And became punished Venom, Do uh, Venom Bryan. You've seen him compete with that robotic arm ever since. Speaking of robotic arms, that means he had to lose his previous arm. As you're about to see, it was a gruesome sight. He lost that arm fighting the North Koreans, trying to defend South Korea from them. That's, oh, jeez. That does not look pretty. But, thankfully for Brian, he was able to wrestle once again, thanks to this man, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey bringing multiple people back from the grave, including Naomi, Rikishi, Darren Young, and Damian Sandow, able to fix Daniel Bryan's armor, at least give him a new one as well, some way, somehow, and set him on a mission to find and assassinate the members of Al Kabob, thinking that they were responsible for the robot apocalypse that was warned by the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole, the new Roar Tag Team Champions, thought there might be something shady, maybe they lied about the robot apocalypse, but as you can see here, this is James Kabob with the mohawk. He has shaved. He has shaved his big old beard he's been known for. James Kabob was the cruiserweight of Al Kabob. And here you can see he's trying to possibly procure parts for a robot, assassinating this man, James Kabob, a bad dude. But at least Brian, Daniel Bryan seems to be on top of things, has found his location. We're going to have an update for that later on, but right now, back to Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas looking for this man, Jon Snow the Intercontinental Champion. In the meantime, I'd like to tell you guys to subscribe and, I mean, follow the Twitter accounts. Not Twitter. Twitch. Twitch accounts. Last Hope's Twitch accounts, which include DJ Last Hope, as well as YT Falcon Warrior. Follow them for ZEW on Twitch. It's All Elite Wrestling or ZO Elite Wrestling. Anyway, they're world champions. Johnny, Johnny fucking uh, Elite. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Morrison, whatever you want to call him. Here we see Boat Owls breaching and entering one of Jon Snow's ships, and we can confirm now that is, in fact, the body of Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, former Roar wrestler and talent, has been assassinated, has been murdered by Bo Dallas. So that's one down, two to go. We got McGregor, we just need Jon Snow in the Intercontinental Championship. I do not endorse murdering people like Conor McGregor, but hey, we got you got to do what you got to do to get the IC Championship back. So rest in peace, Conor McGregor. Now all that's left is Jon Snow. Bo Dallas has made immense progress. Daniel Bryan has made immense, immense progress. Daniel Bryan has found the location of James Kabob. And Bo Dallas has taken out Conor McGregor. He is gone. He is done for. He is dead. All that remains is Jon Snow and the Intercontinental Championship. Stay tuned. I'm going to be streaming Roar sometime this week. Hopefully, it's going to be Monday, which is tomorrow from when I'm making this video. Godspeed, gentlemen.